the sew together pattern for March was the Shelly leggings from Seamwork magazine and today's post is dedicated to the version I made. I know these leggings might seem like just any other leggings, but they're not. They're actually reversible. I know, so cool. So I'm going to show you both sides styled two different ways, but let's talk about the pattern first. I wasn't 100% confident in the sizing, but I did all my usual checks and everything seemed okay based on the body measurement chart, so I just went with it. They sewed up really easily and have a gusset style that made getting that extra wearing ease through the crotch really easy. Much easier than some of the diamond shaped gussets that I have sewn in the past. It extends pretty much from one knee through the crotch down to the other knee on the inside of your leg, obviously. One odd thing, though, is that they instruct you to cut two of these gusset pieces out so you have a lining, which I thought was completely unnecessary, so I just omitted it. The waistband is two layers, though, like one piece folded over, which I really like for the extra compression and comfort through the belly area. Okay, now for the fit issues that I did come across. I ended up having to take out about an inch uh, maybe two from the center back, but that was really easy to do because there's actually a center back seam that goes up through the waistband. This also means though that there is, like if you're using a serger, there's a serger tail that extends through the waistband, so you have to make sure you secure that so that your center back seam doesn't start to come undone. So you have to think that through a little bit because it's not technically like a finished uh, stitch or finished seam, if that makes sense. I also ended up having to add a few inches to the calf. I have pretty large calves, um, so I'm pretty used to doing this, but I did have to add more than I thought. I kind of thought the stretch of the fabric would be enough, but it wasn't. So to remedy this, I had to insert a wedge starting at the knee and extending down to the hem. Since I already had the seam lines from the gusset, the crotch gusset already, it kind of ended up looking like more of a design feature than a mistake. So I'm okay with it. <laughs> and because my leggings are reversible, the only other kind of like interesting thing about mine is that I wasn't able to hem them. So this is just the raw edge. If I hemmed them either way, the other side would show. And so they would, I don't know, would have like an odd like band around the ankle. And so I just said, you know what, I'm just not going to hem them at all. The fabric is a really great ponte that I got from Stylemaker Fabrics years ago. The one side is this gray that I've styled here today with a green sweater and like a sweater poncho. But are you ready to see the other side? <laughs> Here it is! From far away, it looks like a plain black fabric, but up close you can see the subtle geometric detail in it. It really elevates this legging to something closer to a pant that I will almost universally style to like go out. You know, it's not like an athletic pant, it's not a you know, lounge type of legging. This really is like a dressy fashion legging. I styled the black side of the leggings with a sweater tunic that I made a long time ago. Check the description box for a link to the pattern review for the sweater. I'm almost certain that it is out of print at this point, but uh, maybe you can find something similar or you can find it on Etsy or eBay. The trick to making these leggings reversible and having both sides of the seam look like, like it would be a right side is the stitch on your serger called a flat lock stitch. You just change up the tension discs on a few of the dials and that is it. It's really easy. Uh, give your manual a look through for instructions for your specific machine but basically it creates a stitch on your serger where the threads extend beyond the edge of the fabric and then you kind of like pull on the fabric really hard so that the seam allowances lay on top of each other and the stitches, the thread goes over that to hold it in. Maybe kind of hard to visualize with just 
you know, me trying to describe it with words. Um, but it's a, it's a fairly, uh, common, uh, stitch. And if you don't have it in your serger's manual, there are a ton of tutorials for it online as well. But that is going to do it for me today, guys. I really love my Shelly leggings. I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of them once the weather cools down again, both sides of them. Um, I think it's going to be a really fun piece to have in my wardrobe that I'll reach for again and again. But thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.